Okay, hello and welcome to part three of the advanced creation. Uh, I hope you've got a similar result to this. Uh, fairly close, shouldn't be too far off. And I hope you've... I've just been talking while doing it and uh, trying to give as much information while I continue to model it, but the information that you should be taking out of it is how to pull everything in how you want it and how I'm pulling it all through. And just how I learned was from watching the tutorial and I didn't even really... Um, make the thing myself that I was watching. I just saw how they modelled it. I saw how they kept pushing and pulling it all around and then I got I slowly got better with practice. So I'm hoping that's what you'll take out of it so far. And uh thanks for continuing this far anyway. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this this part here. Uh I'm gonna bring up my other one. We can see that that's not that important that it's square right now because it's going to be gone. We can see that the back's also quite flat because it's kind of a thick part of clothing and uh, the fact that it's not it's not circular isn't that much of a problem. And as for the sides, it's a little bit circular but I think we can get around to that a bit later. So right now I think the best thing to look at would be looking at how to split it into a v-shape. So let's see and also I want to quickly mention the v-shape joins there and then I didn't bother adding any detail of a button or anything like that and I split it again there and that can look quite good but what I did to cover it up is I added a belt so when we get to this point here just make sure you've got a kind of faces in line like that so you can extrude it from that and make the belt just like we did with the t-shirt but on a small scale and I even showed how to make a belt buckle on the um, on through the, on the B-Mesh tutorial I think it was and so um, yeah I hope you'll find that fairly easy but we'll continue with this one right now I'll just check out how far I've already started talking two minutes and um, so we want to kind of look at the front here. So edit mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a ring loop. Oops. So that's control R. And uh, add that ring loop in. And then we can even, since we've just done that, we can even just pull this out a little bit. Although it's going to be disappearing just see what it looked like so that we've got this so pull it out just a little bit just so it's not completely flat and you can see what it looked like if it were a jumper and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this one on the x-axis over there uh, completely over there I'm going to grab this one on the x-axis kind of get as good of a shape as I need. So you don't want it to be too sharp of a way down and you don't want any too sharp turns. And uh, we've got to this part here and I think that it's just a little bit too high at the moment. So changing my mind as I say happens all the time. Change your mind as you keep going along which is kind of a good thing. And keep and just pull it down a little bit is what I'm going to do. Pull it on the x-axis just a little bit. And then with that being about that far down, I'm going to add a ring loop there. And I'm going to pull that in on the x-axis so that it's not it's not really straight. Or as straight as it previously was. And um, looking at it again, I'm going to pull these over on the x-axis and that one as well, just so it's not that tricky, uh, not that steep. And I'm also going to have to bring that one in on the x-axis over to there. So that means I'm going to have to move all the others just so that they suit the proper curve. Okay, so I think that's looking okay. I'm also going to have to bring that one in so that one also suits the curve. And 
that's going to okay. go. So you can see that it's going to go down there, and then we're going to get this part here. So let's just grab these vertices down to that one and press X and vertices. So we've got that down there. So from this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that vertice and that vertice. I'm going to press Ctrl M. Scratch that. I'm going to press Alt M. Okay, and I'm going to click on Blender is what I'm going to do. Um, I don't know why it's not working. Is it just M? Nope. Control M. Hmm. I'll get there eventually. Alt M. Yeah, finally, I wasn't clicked on Blender and um, it wasn't working. So, Alt M, and that will pull up this menu here, and that's the merge menu. Bring them at center, and that has made them into one vertice rather than two. So I'll show you the difference. Two vertices there. Alt M, and at center. Let's bring them into the center of their two points. And the same, I think, should go for down here. So I'm going to go for, rather than at center, I'm going to press Alt M and go for at last, which is the last one that I selected. I'm going to bring that one on the x axis, just so it's not so steep. And that one, because that's incredibly steep, I'm just going to bring it out a little bit. So we've got that kind of basic shape there, and let's compare it with my other one. See, that's pretty much how I've done it. And uh, I'm also going to take a look at pulling that one in. And in fact, there's no real point in those, that one there and that one there, so we may as well just connect them with Alt M and at last for me, because yeah, I select them in that order. And um, yeah, so that's okay. Okay, and I think I'll end this part here, as I'm hoping to finish it for the next tutorial. And hopefully, I mean, the next tutorial should be a bit longer, and we're going to extrude here, if I just show you, with my other one. Let's take it out into object mode, and press H for hide. Okay, so what I've done here is I've extruded it a little bit out there. So I'm going to show you this and how to make that. So we can extrude it out. And what I've also done is I have uh, extruded it, I've extruded the collar outwards, and I've extruded that down and so on. And I've extruded it one more time to make it a little thicker. So that should all be in the next tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Catch me for the last one. Subscribe to catch it as soon as I post it. And um, I hope to see you in the next tutorial series as well as in the next video and uh, don't forget to save your work as a final thing that I've already forgotten so me saying oh don't forget to save your work uh, I have forgotten to save my work so I think I'll just save that now and see it